Why, Calvin, I'm an engineering student and I have these crazy lectures and these professors that talk too fast and there's so much stuff on the whiteboard that I need to write down. But blah, 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 blah. listen, listen, I have good reasons for you to take colored notes. Hear me out. So us engineers are problem solvers and that requires to be efficient in our systems for solving problems. But it also requires us to make sure that the system that we develop for the information that we gather from lectures, from textbooks, from work experience, etc., is also as efficient as possible. So that when we are solving difficult problems, we know how to categorize and make sense of the data that we have. Now, part of problem solving is to develop that system of note taking, of capturing that knowledge that you gain in college classes and textbooks and your own engineering calculations, and then categorizing it into a system that makes sense for you and your brain. Okay, so a very quick story about me in college. So back when I was in college taking engineering notes in all of my classes, I used to write all of my engineering notes on blank sheets of paper. That's right. No lines, no dots, no grids, no nothing. It was just a blank page of printer paper. And the most important tool I had was this set of colored pens. And I don't know why, but at the time I was just obsessed with making sure that my notes were colorful, not just for the fact that they were nice and pretty, but it allowed me to categorize all of the different concepts and all the different sections in notes that we typically take during lecture or when we're just self-studying and make sense of that data and place it in portions of my notes that made sense to me. Now I went a step further and I actually took all these colored notes on printer paper and then I bought a printer just to scan them into PDF format so that I can use them on my computer and just reference them and just have everything digital. And at the time I was trying to go digital, I had an iPad mini I think it was like the first gen iPad mini and I didn't use it and I regret not using it because that would have been perfect for note taking, but I just did what I could at the time with the resources that I had and it worked pretty well. Now what I really wish I had was digital engineering paper and this is such a shameless plug, but I finally got around to making digital engineering computation paper that you can download if you guys are interested. Those are down in the description below and I believe there's a link in every single one of my videos. So if that's something that might help you in your digital workflow for engineering note taking, problem solving, or just work and, and engineering stuff in general, uh, that is down below and I hope it helps you out. Okay, but back to the story. So when I was in college, I took a lot of colored notes and these are the reasons why taking colored notes helped me. Okay, so the very first thing is probably a little obvious, it made referencing all of my notes so much easier. So I use my colored notes as obviously reference material for when I'm studying or doing homework. And it just made finding stuff a lot easier. So if I was looking for a particular formula or a definition or some theory or concept, I would know where to look just because everything was in color and I associated certain colors with certain parts of my notes. The second reason is that I noticed that when I had to study for tests for upcoming exams for midterms and finals, I didn't have to study as hard because when I was going and reviewing my notes, I wasn't particularly reading all of the material that I had, but instead my brain developed relationships between the content that was on my notes and the colors and the different sections. So when I was going back and reviewing things for tests, my brain already knew that I was maybe if I was looking for a formula or a definition or anything else, my brain associated certain colors with certain parts of my notes. And so what I think it was doing is subconsciously, it was developing those relationships between what I was looking at on my notes and just making sense of all that information that way. And finally, there were some cases that I did have to rewrite a lot of my notes, whether it was just in class, I was just trying to jot down information quickly, but then I would go to the library or at Starbucks or something, sit down, and it would allow me a mindful moment to just review all the information that I gathered in the past lecture and just make sense of everything. So as I was rewriting those notes in color, what I was doing was I was adding additional notes, I was adding additional diagrams, anything that I think I needed for the future that I just couldn't jot down in lecture. So this did two things. Firstly, it allowed me to review my notes and review the material and repetition obviously will help you when you're trying to study and memorize things. 
And then secondly, it allowed me to add in more information to those notes and just make sense of all the data that I collected. Okay, so let's get into the heart of this video and answer the question of why I think you should take colored notes not just if you're an engineer, but really just any major or any profession. I think colored notes can give you a huge advantage, not just in your homework and studying for tests, but when you go back and look at your notes, it's just gonna be very, very helpful when you're trying to remember things that were really easy a very, very long time ago, but now that you are reviewing and revisiting some of that material, it might be a little bit harder to understand what you were studying at the time. Okay, so for the first reason as to why I think you should take colored notes, number one, our brains are visual machines. So our brains take in a lot of information during the day, whether that is through lectures, podcasts, videos, textbooks, papers, all of these mediums are visual things. And so we need to make it as easy and efficient as possible for our brains to figure out what to do with all of this data that we're intaking during the day. Now, when things are in black and white, like you're reading a book, it's very hard for the brain to try to form relationships and understand concepts when everything is just black and white. You're not allowing a system for your brain to easily navigate all of this information and find the stuff that you're trying to look for. And when all your notes are in black and white, it forces your brain to reread a lot of the information instead of just getting to exactly where you need within your notes. Secondly, it makes the studying process a lot more streamlined and a lot more efficient. So color, just like pictures or videos, it stimulates the mind in different ways and it stimulates the mind far more effectively than everything that is in black and white. And again, if everything is in black and white, it just makes the brain work a lot harder to try to find the information that you're looking for and try to make sense of the stuff that used to make sense a long time ago. So I wanna pose an experiment to you guys. Go back to your old notes, maybe notes that are six months to a year old. And if they are in black and white, maybe they're just in pencil or pen, try going through your notes and trying to make sense of the information. You'll notice that because they were notes that were taken a long time ago, it might be harder for you to remember and understand some of those concepts and ideas to the same level that you did when you took those notes. And chances are you're probably going to be rereading a lot of stuff in your notes and probably even referencing external materials to try to make sense of the concepts and things that used to make sense when you took those notes. Okay, so now that we understand why we need to take colored notes, Let's talk about how we should take colored notes. And hopefully some of these tips will help you when you're in class or you're just having a study session to go over the material that you've learned. Okay, so tip number one, obviously use different colors to represent different things. So this might be themes, it might be concepts, it might be problem statements, formulas, definitions, etc. The process of tying a particular color to a particular thing or a construct in your note just makes things a lot more organized and it helps your brain find information very, very quickly. So for an example, say you use blue to write down all of your formulas, you use black to write down your problem statements or your question prompts, and let's say you use green to write down your definitions. Now, if you're reviewing your notes and you're studying for an exam or you're trying to work on your homework problem and you're trying to reference a formula that you know you will need, then when you're reviewing and rereading some of your notes, your brain already understands that, hey, if I'm looking for a particular formula, I know that I only need to scan the blue text in my notes because I associated the color blue with formulas. And so this just makes finding information a lot quicker. And again, you don't have to reread all of that black and white text on that piece of paper. And you've established in your mind that relationship of blue equals formula. Okay, tip number two for everybody that might be complaining about I don't have time to take colored notes in class. I gotta constantly switch pens and whatnot and the lectures are just so fast and professors don't make any sense. Okay, here, part of studying, part of just understanding information is having a moment to review all the notes that you've taken and make sense of that data. So this tip in particular is if you don't have time to take colored notes in class while you're sitting in a lecture, then gather all the information that you can during that lecture on just black and white text, and then spend maybe half an hour to an hour after lecture at some point in your day and review all that material and rewrite your notes for that lecture in color. So again, you've already established this system of associating certain colors with certain concepts or themes. 
now you can sort of digest all of that material in lecture and then make sense of it in a system that fits for you. Now you might be saying, oh, Calvin, that's just going to take up so much time. No, 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 no. It's not because again, what you're doing is you're making your studying process and material intake a lot more effective for the long term. And that's another thing. You are spending an additional 30 minutes to an hour rewriting some of these notes, but in the long term, you're going to make the process of just reviewing all that material and finding everything that you need in your notes a lot quicker. Okay, the third tip, I would highly, highly recommend that you invest into some sort of a tablet, either an iPad or something similar. Now I know that's expensive, but if you do have the budget for it, even just the basic iPad and an Apple Pencil, it makes note taking so much more streamlined and you can convert your entire physical note taking process into a digital one. Now, the advantage that a lot of iPads have or just any tablets is that they have note taking apps that allow you to take notes in different colors. And so if you're in a class, you can quickly switch between different colors as you're jotting down things. And this just makes the process a lot more streamlined. And again, you already have your system of certain colors equals certain concepts or themes, and you can just do everything on your iPad and you don't have to be like me buying a printer just to scan all those white papers back into my computer. It was just so inefficient and I should have, I should have done better. I mean, I had iPads when I was in college, but I don't know, I just didn't use it and I kind of regret that, but hopefully if you're watching this and you're still in college or about to start college, then I would highly recommend uh, investing in a good tablet. I think it's gonna do a lot of good in the long term. So, okay, I'm going to leave it at that. I hope this video has helped. I hope that your notes become a lot more colorful. And again, shameless plug, if you are interested in some of those digital engineering pad uh, templates, I do have those linked down in the description below. That is it for this video. I will catch you guys in the next one.